I got a mandate from the Foreign Affairs Council of the European Union after the tragic events that uh, we have li been living in this region since the starting of the year to try to look what we could do in order to increase the stability and the trust among actors in this region, which is very important for us Europeans because their security and stability affects directly our security and stability also. And as I was saying, the year started very in a very big turmoil with tragic events, with confrontations, with decisions about the GCPOA, with the presentation of a new peace plan for the Middle East, altogether has created a situation in which we Europeans, European Union, has started contacts with all actors in order to see what we can do. I've been visiting Iran because we cannot talk about stability in the region without taking into account Iran, but also talking with the foreign affairs ministers of Saudi Arabia and Emirates, talking with the president of Iraq. He was planning to go to Iraq, but it hasn't been possible because the new government was just, uh, the new prime minister was just nominated yesterday. Also, he stopped in Jordan, visited the king and the foreign affairs ministers. I am going to go to Washington uh, next Friday. So we are trying to keep in touch with everybody in order to try to see what we can do once again to stabilize the region and to create a mutual understanding or at least to build to build trust which is certainly lacking that's why we've been talking today with uh, the Iranian authorities they've been received by the president of the republic by the president of the parliament and by the foreign affairs ministers we have we have evidently talk about the GCPOA, but on that there are no no, no news. Nothing has happened since the last time we talk about it. And that's all. I am at your disposal if you want to put some question. <coughs> Any question? Yes, please. Yeah. Can you speak louder? I guess during your uh, meetings here in Iran, you have a talk, of course, about the nuclear deal. So my question is, like, um, uh, what's your opinion, or what do you think that can happen if finally the European signatories of the nuclear deal uh, activate this dispute uh, mechanism and the issue goes to the Security Council? Because Iran has written to, uh, well, to different options, uh, one of them, like, so, what's your opinion about this uh, situation and how can it uh, be solved? Mm -hmm. or not? Well, the activation of the dispute settlement mechanism fully seen on the framework of the GCPOA by the three European countries, France, Germany, United Kingdom, doesn't mean that these countries wants to go to the Security Council in order to definitely cancel the nuclear deal. As far as I know, I've been talking with them, uh, even in the last Foreign Affairs Council, all of them insisted on the idea that this was not a measure oriented to finish with the deal, but to try to keep it alive, to give time for negotiation. All of them agreed on uh, enlarging and continuously postponing the dates and the time limits that the uh, regulations of the GCPOA foreseen, in order not to go strictly to the 15 days, but we can, it is foreseen also on the regulations, to increase this time schedule, and that we are going to do. Uh, let's try if we can go both sides to the compliance of the requirements of the deal. And in the meantime, and as I asked to the Iranian authorities, and I think they agree, we have to continue with the survey of the International Atomic Energy Agency, which is the only one who can witness, who can certify 
which is the real state of the nuclear development by Iran. Because everybody can say they are not fulfilling, they are not fulfilling, how much they are not fulfilling. At the end, someone has to testify which is the degree of fulfillment or unfulfillment. And this is what the Atomic Energy Agency is doing, is doing well. Everybody trusts the analysis. And I think this has to be continued. We expect some positive uh, steps on the nuclear side, and the Iranians expect some, some positive aspects on the economic side. And that's what we are going to try to deal on the, on the next uh, weeks, I can say weeks or more, because as I, I just say, as, as I said, we are in agreement not to go directly to a strict time limit to or would oblige to go to the Security Council. And this is the most important thing I can say about it. You know? The willing is not to start a process that goes to the end of the, of the DCPOA, but that keeps it alive. Dear Mr. Barr, uh, what is important here is in the past 22 months since uh, the U.S. withdrawal from the deal, uh, Iran has kind of uh, been waiting for Europe to do something tangible and actual in terms of action. But uh, in the past, the statements of the officials, they said that they are getting disappointed in Europe. Uh, there were also some stances in Europe saying that we might want to discuss further things such as the missile program within the JCPOA if we want to keep this deal. Now, which way does Europe want to go? Is it like to keep uh, the first JCPOA achieved in 2015 by activating INSTEX? Or there's going to be some time in order to just f further discussions on other issues such as missile program? Well, some voices have been asking for enlarging the scope of the deal, introducing new aspects. Personally, as coordinator, it's not my business. <laughs> coordinator of the deal is coordinator of the deal. If someone wants to enlarge the deal, okay, do it. But my, my job as coordinator is to manage the deal which has been approved, not the one that can be maybe approved. And I think the first objective is to keep this deal alive. And for that, and I understand the disappointment, we have to prepare from both sides a better implementation of the plan. So is INSTEX going to be activated tangibly uh, and include oil sale in it? We are, will try to use INSTEX as much as we can. And I have to recognize that until now INSTEX has not been able to produce a, not a single trans transaction. But we will use INSTEX as much as we can. And, uh, Something else? 